Hi again, and welcome to this second part of our technical video on GBT 27930. My name is Ernst Christmann, and I work for a vector limited liability company as a technical trainer in team number two of the product line training. In the first video, I had covered the theory of the above mentioned protocol. And in this second part, I will show you the tooling as provided by Vectra. Now let's get into Vectra's Cano simulation for GBT27930. When you open it, it comes up like this. So on the left side, you have the charger. On the right side, you have the battery management system. And in between, you have two trace windows, one state diagram, and on top, you have the control button to start the charging process and a help button to get more information about the system. This configuration simulates both participants in a GBT27930 network, which are the charger and the battery management system. And it allows to control all provinces of the entire charging process. Consider the content of messages. It can be defined before the measurement starts to configure the data that is exchanged during all phases of the charging process from authentication and parameter negotiation through suspension and termination. Now, since this involves many messages, they are spread out over several tabs. They can be found here on both sides. Here are the handshaking, the charging, the termination and suspension. Also, you may want to interrupt the transmission of certain frames during the charging phase. This can be done here, and on the, on the battery management side, it can be done with these buttons. Now, when we come back to the control panel here, in this section here, on both sides, also here, we have a lot of timings to be set. And these timings correspond to this ping pong scheme between the two participants, and they can be set here. And there. And finally, you may want to define time condition whose transgressions are to be recognized as errors. This is to be done here in the lower part of the panels on both sides. Let's open the menu ribbon for a short time. Here, we actually should be in real bus mode if we have a real system under test. Also, in this case, we would have to go to the setup, deactivate the simulation in question, and now connect a replacement, so a real battery management system on the outside of Canoe via an interface. Now, since we don't have that, and I want to show you some things, I reactivate now the simulation set everything to simulated buzz with animation factor one, which means real time. Now I collapse the menu ribbon to have more space available for viewing. Go back to the charger and BMS panel. And now I can start the measurement. Now on first sight, nothing happens because you haven't started the charging process yet. So I do this. Here we go. And now you can see how the phases proceed. First the handshake phases, and now finally the real deal, which is the charging process, the green one, remember, all these colors. And uh, also you have maybe seen that during that process, in our lower trace window, everything is shown. So all the bus events are displayed while in the upper trace window, only some filtered out events are displayed. So here you can see only a very reduced number of events. For example, whenever we enter a new phase of the handshake or whenever we start with the, uh, with the charging process, then the new stuff is provided to be seen by your eyes and then it's stopped. So how does that stop? It stops if there is no significant difference anymore. 
So let's, for example, make a significant change. If I go to this voltage here from 320 volt and I change it to, let's say, 200, then you can see another couple of events appearing here. And when the voltage has approached closely to the target of 200 volts, then this window stops. Yeah? So if the approach has been so close that only an insignificant difference is left, this window stops displaying new events, while the lower one goes on forever. And you can see the output, the target voltage is always yeah, wiggling around about 200 volts. Now, let's change, for example, here the maximum output of the charging system. Let's say we want to have 160 amperes as output. And now something strange appears here on the left side of this input field. It seems to be a circular arrow with a sine curve in the middle. And this shows you that this value I just entered is not transported to the bus. So why is that so? Well, the maximum output is negotiated in a previous phase. And this message carrying these signal values actually is not sent anymore. So what do we need to do? Well, we have to revisit that phase. So actually, you have to restart the charging process. I do that. And then eventually, see, for a very brief time, the, the background of this portion here becomes blue. And now the 160 amperes are out on the bus. And then the next portion of this panel turns blue. Now, this is now the active panel section. Also here, you can see this. Yeah? The, the activity is always shown by the blue background. Now, be aware that you have more than one tabulator here. This is the control tabulator with the main things. But then during the handshake phase, we also have the handshake uh, configuration with even more values, some of them only scarcely needed. But sometimes you may need them, and you're looking for them. So be aware of these tabulators. Then the charging, which now has a blue background because it's active. And when you want to end the whole thing, well, this is then how to end it. You can suspend the charging. You can give a cause, an error. Or the suspending charging may have multiple errors, like, for example, abnormal voltage error, excessive current error, voltage detection fault, and something with the connector heating up. Now, when I press this suspend charging button, have a look at this portion here in the state diagram, because we have processed now until the charging phase, but not beyond. And there are still two phases missing, the suspension and ending. And now this is followed up. Bam, here we go. Now the state diagram is completed. And here you can see all our errors that we put in our multiple errors we chose to be the cause for suspension. Yeah? Suspending reason, output connector over temperature, voltage detection fault, excessive current, and so on and so forth. You would have to scroll very much to the right side. Now, <clears throat> finally, what I wanted to show you is roughly how this thing works, but now I have to show you still where to get it. You go to the file menu, and then you go to the sample configurations. That's already selected. And then, then you scroll down all the way until you hit S for smart charging. And then you have smart charging for Germany and the world. And then you have smart charging for China, GPT-27930. And here is the thing. 
this is our simulation that I just showed you. And maybe the panels look a little bit different. You may have to adapt them to the size of your screen. But actually, that's the functionality that resides here, which is part of Canoe version 14. Well, they have previous versions in 13 and Canoe 12 as well, but they have a very reduced set of functionalities, of, of features. So actually, the real deal is in Canoe 14. I hope that helps you. And I wish you all the best. Be well. Until the next time.